Okay, let's do Aries for July. Aries for July. Aries for July. July. Okay, you're holding back from a situation here, Aries, regarding your home life or a home situation. You could be saving up your money for a home. You're angry, Aries. Because you're not cutting out the things that don't serve you regarding your home life. We have some conflict here. You're holding back. You may receive an apology. After some conflict. Can we deal with the Pisces? You have no other option to turn, but to turn your back on this. You're losing hope. So you're holding back from a situation regarding your home life. And this is causing you to be angry and there's some conflict here. You may receive an apology or you may need to apologize, but you have no other option but to turn your back on this because it's not going to be successful. You're not on the right path. You need to heal at this time. July. You might have turned your back on a situation and started to lose hope on a situation. You may have ended a relationship. You may have not received an invitation to a social event also. So you have no other option except for to move on. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces. a lot of emotions here yep somebody was gossiping here and this caused some conflict it's causing problems with your financial stability this could be over property and you don't see success at this time this has not been successful Because the lies are continuing. Somebody's not willing to make the changes that they need to make. Somebody's not willing to tell the truth. <clears throat> Sign of Aries and Scorp Scorpio. <clears throat> so there's no success here because somebody's failing to tell the truth here. This could be concerning property, gossip, in, your, in or around your home life. Could be involving an ex-lover that returned. There's going to be a passionate new beginning here. Okay. After a breakup. But there's a delay in messages. Oh, so there was a passionate new beginning here. But somebody was failing to tell the truth about a situation. So there's a delay in messages. And a breakup. So somebody couldn't get the home. And you're not waiting for this anymore. You've waited long enough. So 
So you're going to walk away from this situation and find out what fulfills you emotionally. Yeah, you've made a decision to stop juggling. Lord. Wow. Ugh. And you're not taking action. You could be angry at this time. Somebody's very aggressive. Somebody's very non-committal. Somebody's jealous. And this is causing arguments. We got fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Both reversed. And this is causing arguments. Aries. July. July. The whole month of July. So things aren't moving forward. And you won't be taking a trip. This is controlling and abusive behavior. This is non-committal. This is somebody who doesn't show up after discussing plans to get together with somebody. This is somebody who doesn't show up. This is a father. This is an Aries. This is a very controlling, abusive, and manipulative type person. Perverted, aggressive, non-committal, not financially stable. Oh, Lord. This person's not reaching out. You're not reaching out. July. This is concerning a divorce or a commitment. And this is someone you find very attractive. This is... Aries, you need to find people that have the same interest as you. Like-minded friends. And you can't give up. Yeah, you, you, you're going to get yourself unstuck from this situation. You could be dealing with another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus. Strong Taurus. Strong, a lot of Aries. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to start taking action without fear. You're going to have to start taking care of yourself and other people. But take care of yourself first. So you can get your uh, self unstuck from this situation. You're heartbroken, Aries. You wanted to build a solid foundation. But there's no growth here. And that's breaking your heart. You see this person as marriage material, but somebody's not willing to put the work in. Literally not willing to put the work in. Not willing to build the foundation. And this is a player type energy, Sagittarian energy. You're dealing with a player. So somebody who comes in and out of your life, someone from the past, someone you've met before, someone you, somebody you may have grown up in the same hometown, you could have known each other since childhood, but there are issues regarding children here, and this is somebody who's coming out of depression, but you're at a crossroads right now. And this is causing you to be very emotional. But you're going to come out of depression. The arguments are going to stop. 
Oh, Aries, you're not going to be single. Unless you're experiencing a lack of abundance here. But there was some competition or some jealousy here. Somebody's willing to stop the drama. Because somebody's emotionally codependent. Somebody could be overindulging in food, drink, or alcohol. And you're failing to end a painful situation. Could be failing to end an addiction. And this is causing you to be emotionally codependent. Yep. And you're hiding this. Could be, could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I have that in your chart. But you're focused on your work. And you could be dealing with a cancer, strong cancer. So, you're failing to end a situation. You're failing to end your addictions. You're failing to end what doesn't serve you. And you're hiding your true feelings. Focusing on your work. But I do see some forward movement here. You're going to start taking back control of your life after this. And moving forward, you may be traveling towards a person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person's emotionally unavailable. This could be somebody you're married to. We're married to. Somebody you went in a relationship with. Someone that made you happy but was breadcrumbing you. There's some theft here. You have some enemies, Aries. There will not be a reconciliation here because somebody was being a thief. Um, involving a family. Involving the family. So you got rejected and somebody wants to come back around could be dealing with a Virgo you're not spending the quiet time alone at home that you need to to get the wisdom that you need so things are starting to work against you you're not ending the addictions the codependencies there's a need for you to communicate with a Virgo To be concerning a contract or a soulmate. Somebody that was playing a lot of mind games and head games. It's temptation, Aries. It's temptation. I could see it clear. There's no communication here. Somebody's pissed off. Because of the power games and the head games. You're going to have to communicate, Aries. And this is causing you a lot of stress, sleepless nights, and you might be missing out on an opportunity because of property, a home, or a job, or any kind of income. So this is an offer of income, and this is when it falls through. You're being treated unfairly, or you feel like you're being treated unfairly. So you're going to make the decision. So you're being treated unfairly, so you're going to make the decision to end some kind of partnership here. The devil, a Capricorn. You feel like you're being treated unfairly, so you're making a decision 
to let your ego get in the way and end a contract. That has been a burden to you. When you release this ego and this temptation and you learn to um, end this partnership or this contract, you'll be able to release a burden and then things will start turning into your favor. But this judgment is being made and it is not in, in your favor. And that's going to make you very unhappy. Sign of Leo. We have Leo, Capricorn. Yep, because somebody was lying, cheating, and stealing. And they got caught. So you're sad. So you feel like you were being treated unfairly too. Uh -huh. Yes, there's three sides to every story. So somebody's coming in to offer you something stable. It's very slow coming in, but it's coming. And you're mad. You're pissed off. You're going to have to balance out your emotions. Because there's some unfinished business here that needs to be taken care of, Aries. Let's see, let me see, Aries, let's do these, Aries for July, July, the whole month of July. Okay, Aries, your health is bad, whole month of July. Your health is bad because somebody was caught being a thief. Hmm. Hmm. That's confirmation right there. Aries. July. Hmm. This main female caught you. Or it was involving a main female. What about a great fortune? And this has caused you a lot of sleepless nights and insomnia. So, wow. And this is coming up very soon. This is not in the distant horizon. This is reverse. So that means it's coming up. Like it's already happening. Like it's now. Like it's coming. I mean, it's in July. Whatever. Oh. Oh, Lord. I knew this was coming. Okay. Let me calm down. Yeah. Okay. There he is. So this one I'm done, Aries. Last call. Let the cards fall where they may. Okay. All right. So let's see what these have to say. All right, Aries. Aries. What the fuck was that? Aries.
What does Aries need to know? Okay, Aries, so whatever it is, it's unlikely. Whatever you're thinking, it's unlikely. But the situation will improve. And then it's a yes. There will be abundance. But it's not the right time. So the answer is no. Good luck, Aries. <laughs>